second class is going to be in English. But don't worry, I will still put some energy and subtitle on this video. Starting this March as well, Triple C will be posting video based on some monthly theme. And for this month theme, Triple C will be doing some Galaxy Obsession Month. So every recipe that I will be posting on this March is going to be the color of the Galaxy. And to start off, I'm going to show you guys how to make some Galaxy bagels. So if you guys know there's this store in Brooklyn that's very famous for their um, rainbow bagels. So because this is Galaxy Obsession Month, I'm going to share the bagels with the color of the Galaxy. So um, this is how you make Galaxy bagels. So first of all, we're going to feed the yeast and here I have some warm water and then I'm going to put in some warm milk and the reason why I'm using warm milk and warm water is to speed up the process of feeding the yeast but you can still use some room temperature water if you want and then I'm going to put half of my sugar After that, you want to start and put your yeast and then you want to mix and the reason why we are doing this process is actually to see if your yeast is working, if your yeast is still alive. And then you want to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes until they start to become foamy and bubbly. After you have something like this, you want to start and mix your dry ingredient. Here I have some bread flour. Then I'm going to put in the rest of the sugar, some salt. After it is all been mixed, you want to make a well at the center. Put in your oil. Just, and then you want to put in your yeast mixture. And now you want to mix it. Now after you have something like this, it's already been mixed, but not really mixed. You know what I mean? Um, now we're going to put it on our working surface and then you can start using your hand. You will have something like this. See it's still very sticky. It's still a little bit sticky and then it's very rough. And you want to knead it until it is very smooth and, it, and this usually takes about 10 minutes by hand. So now we're going to start and knead with it. So after 10 minutes of kneading, you will have something like this. It is very smooth and still a little bit sticky. So here I have my three doughs. And now, we're going to start and color the dough. something like this press it a little bit so that they stick together and they don't fall apart so this recipe will make about four bagels I'm going to cut it into four Ooh, I just have to show you guys look at that <gasps> so excited then we want to get one portion maybe this one and then we want to roll it And then you want to twist it. Twist as much as you can. <gasps> Look how beautiful it is! I cannot wait! Okay, so once you have something like this, you want to roll it around your hand. And you will have something like this on the bottom. Just pinch them together and just roll them on the top. 
counter while you're pressing them. Now we'll have something like this. Oh, look at that! So cute! Because this is handmade bagel, you can't really make them into very like sexy shape like the one you get at the bakery and stuff like that. But don't worry, even though they are lacking in shape, they are still very stunning with their color. So once you have something like that, make sure this one doesn't open and you press it really well. Here I already cut out some parchment paper and they are bigger than my bagel. are done with all of your dough, now you want to let them rise until they are already double in size and usually this takes about 15 minutes up to an hour depending on the humidity of the air, the temperature and also your dough. So you just want to wait until they are already double in size. Okay so now the bagel is already double in size, look at how beautiful this is and they are very fluffy. Now, um, we're going to do a very important step when making a bagel, which is boiling the bagel. So I'm just going to boil this for 5 seconds each side, because I don't really want them to be very chewy. I just want them to be chewy, but still very soft on the inside. So I think 5 seconds each side will do, but if you like it more chewier, you can boil it for 10 seconds each side. So. Now this is where your parchment paper actually come in handy. So here I already have some boiling water. This is just regular boiling water. I didn't put anything. And now you don't have to actually, you don't really have to touch the bagel. You just have to touch the parchment paper. And then you can actually slowly put in the bagel. And then you can actually slowly put the bagel like this. And then get your tongs. And open the parchment paper with your thumb like that see how simple it is and then we're going to wait for five seconds so it's one two three four five and then we're going to flip it and we're going to wait again for five seconds and I'm gonna pick it up look at how beautiful this is and after you boil it, they kind of deflated a bit, but don't worry, they will still pop up again in the oven. And then we're going to put it straight on our baking tray, which I already lined with some parchment paper. Ta-da! So now you just want to let it dry a little bit. Because I still want them to have this very nice beautiful color, I'm not going to put any egg solution on top. I'm just going to straight away and bake it like this. But you want to cover this with some aluminum foil so that they doesn't burn on top. And then you want to bake it for about 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes to 20 minutes. And then you will have your bagel. Recipe for the filling is going to be in another video. The link is on the description box below. Ta-da! This is the Galaxy Bagels. And um, I actually have so much fun recording this. So this is my first time trying this recipe as well it's a match you can actually wear this as a necklace you know as a jewelry Ooh, it looks like iron man with a bagel heart Ooh, see you can't even see it wow it's so cool see you can't even see it like it's there but you cannot really see it i'm almost like iron man with a bagel actually matching with the bagel but there is still a few stuff that I want to change about this recipe like for example I wish that the blue color was a little bit more darker maybe like this kind of blue and then I wish that the bagels were actually thicker bigger fluffier chubbier all of that stuff so maybe instead of dividing the dough into four maybe it is best to just divide the dough into three so that you will have a bigger chubbier fluffier thicker now I'm going to try it, so I'm so excited. Mm. Mm. So the bagel was chewy but still soft on the inside. Cheese filling is so good. It's sweet, it's cheesy, 
it's creamy, it's salty. It is so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm so happy with how it tastes. And yeah, I have so much fun recording this. So if you guys like this video and this recipe, you guys can give it a thumbs up. If you guys want the full recipe, you guys can go check it out on Instagram. The link is on the description box below. And I will be posting the recipe in Indonesian and also in English. If you guys haven't subscribed, click it now. Click the red button now because you're going to miss this very amazing Galaxy Obsession month. And thanks so much for watching guys. And I'm going to finish this because this is so good. And see you guys in the next one.